All right, it's a beautiful day in Derby, and the old girl is going back to work. You ready to load her up? I am. All right, we pulled this girl out late last night, kind of looking it over, giving it the once over before we head out to the job site, check fluids, oils, make sure everything's good to go. And we forgot something. We've all had catastrophic failure. I don't even know what we forgot. I'm guessing you're not the one that caught it. I'll give you a hint. I see do, you made a 90. It has to do with this. I see that. You have no clue? I, you're making an arm for look, something. Look right down there. See that master pin with that hole in it? Oh. So we put the pin in, we just didn't put the key pin. Pretty much. It's kind of important. <laughs> That's why it's always important to look over your equipment, sir. I could be a nice guy and rotate that around to where it's closer to... Yeah, well, you're not a nice guy because you're cold. I am cold. <laughs> oh, boy. You're going to have to rotate it around, actually. All right, let me move it. I'll get a little yeah. closer. not going to be able to get in there and knock it around. All right, let's move it forward and make it look a little bit nicer. Look nicer. Easier to get to, I mean. It's like using a dinosaur. Yep. I'm not even going the right way. Where's Steve when you need him? Yeah. <laughs> there she is, all loaded down, ready to go. Matt's throwing the uh, last chain on there. And Hit the road, head to town, see if we can get a wall fished up.
truck and trailer to hold the Volvo out. We moved the 850 up to Clemens house and uh, moving the 120 back in. I'm calling the trailer plan B. It is an awesome plan B. It's not, this truck don't ride near as good. It don't have near as much power. It's a little bit limited on a few things versus the Mac. But one thing it can do is it can't get in places the Mac can't get in. And like today, when Clemens running the Mac, and I need the dump truck in town and saving me a trip and helping on some logistics and stuff. So I was doing everything I wanted to do. But obviously this truck's got less power. It should have. This truck's about 350-ish and the uh, max about 475. So that's a, that's a pretty big difference in horsepower. But for the most part, I'm tickled with it. Brakes work good. All the lights work good. It seems to handle the weight fine. It handles going down the road great. Um, I'm... Uh, like I said, for a plan B or a backup or occasional use uh, use rig, I'm, I'm tickled to death. I am tickled to death. But I'm even more tickled to see that 120 back here, not the ball, but I'll tell you that much. But we're getting ready to roll into town here. Let's get unloaded and get started on this wall. Maybe we can get it finished up. One's down there Friday, and now I'm gonna come off. <laughs> That's how it usually works, man. You guys can see that tooth is broke right there. That keeper's jammed up in there behind it. Instead of fighting it, trying to drive it off, we're just gonna use it till it falls off, then we'll put the new tooth on. I ain't wasting 20 minutes trying to get it out of there. Well, that's not necessary. What is ribbon on? All right, guys, got the trailer unhooked. We got the bucket on for now. We already got an empty truck. We're gonna go ahead and try to get a little bit of this uh, dirt out of here. Give us a little bit of elbow rim to work. Get in there and see what we got. And uh, go from there. So let me get this little bit of dirt loaded up here. Ooh, it's gonna take a little bit of getting used to this old girl again. Been a while, old friend. So similar, but so different all at the same time. We finally did it in. Oh yeah, we did it in. All right. Poor guy. He survived for what an hour? Yeah, he made it a good little bit. He tough, tough old guy. This is what we got here is a step footer. We got to get this chunk of concrete out of there. That's how I finally got my tooth off there. Was smacked her a few times and trying to do that and save this concrete. Well, that's a 
that's fun to say the least, but uh, we're getting her. Doesn't matter. Well, IRT goes up. Say that again. IRT goes up. Out with the new? old, in with the new. Don't you wish every trip to the dentist is up fast and famous? <laughs> Alright guys, we finally got this footer excavated out. Sorry I didn't get a lot of video of it. It's been we had a mystery pipe we were trying to chase down. And this footer was up underneath this pad here a little bit. I was doing everything I could to try to save the pad. I don't know. I think I've spent more money trying to save the pad than what it would have cost if I just would have poured a new pad. But hindsight's always 2020. We think we figured out our mystery pipe. Watch out, mailbox. I think we figured out our mystery pipe goes to the floor drain in the basement. We thought it was the sewer line at first, but we know for a fact it's not the sewer line. So uh, we're still trying to sort that out. We're going to get a little bit of rock and follow this trench and see what goes. That'd be a little heavy back here, man. Some raking. A little raking never hurt nobody. All right, guys, I think we're reset for another block setting episode. Does that make sense? Sure. I don't know. Sometimes, <laughs> sometimes I just talk, and I hope you guys get it. So, I will, what I did here on this one is I actually got a little bit of this dirt out of here and kind of built up on the driveway so I can kind of come up that other edge over there. It's going to be a little bit of a stretch to reach a couple of these blocks. We want to go, what, about another 12 feet or so? Actually, even closer. Plus to, four, 16 total. You get it, Matt, buddy. You're good at math. I graduated. So. I can't remember if I did or not. <laughs> so basically we're gonna go about another 16 feet per Mr. Millennial, get that all set and situated, and then we'll reset again to do the last little bit out there. So machine's doing good so far. We have one little bit of hydraulic leak up around the boom. Uh, really? Really deep I know, I jinxed it again. Golly, you're killing me. I hadn't even been recording a whole lot because I just enjoy sitting in this machine and running it. I don't know. I forgot to show you guys while we were down there. There was, we think we've determined that the pipe, the mystery pipe, was a random floor drain in the basement. We're not going to take any chances. We actually hooked it back up and we're going to run it back out to the street uh, where it was. And that way, even if it's not used, at least it is hooked up. This is a little bit harder whenever these things are on the hillside. Got it. Look at that, I'm like half throttle. I was going to say, you're not even idled up. I'm half throttle, I can reach all the way out. Oh, the side. That's crazy. And swinging uphill. It's like day and night okay, difference. Okay, I believe you now. Look, look at me, look at me go. That's idling. I believe you. I got like almost that much more throttle. I think so. All right, you ready? Going down into the lowest one. I'm going. I'm just showing off how far I can reach. Thank you. We're either still dripping or still leaking. back here next to the driveway that went pretty well now we need to go over that step we get a mat a little bit of rock here how much you need i need some right there we got one squeak up here i think it's a shim i have breezed the crap out of this thing this field just wants to make a little bit of noise there once while whenever I extend all the way out. I hope the grease will get worked in there where it needs to get worked into. But other than that, we're still going. I 
Gotcha. All right, we got our step transition done. That turned out, uh, that turned out pretty sharp. We'll let the old deer stretch a leg to see if we can grab some blocks from over. Are you ready? I'm ready. Lift two. I'm not operating and I can still hear it. There's a clump on the bottom of that, hold on. Take it back over to the, your right. Lift it up a little bit. I'm not man behind the scenes. I can still reach that because I'm not Aaron. <laughs> Gotta make sure these bottoms don't have anything on them or it totally changes how they sit. It looks pretty clean. Get it spun the right way there. There we go. Beautiful. there's another couple blocks set they are looking they're looking pretty sharp i think what we're gonna do now is i'm gonna throw the old uh, bucket on backwards we're gonna go ahead and get some rock behind that wall and get that pipe heading on out this way and then we'll uh, grab the stock a few more Pipe. There's a pipe. Sure hope you sure hope you cut that pipe long enough to make it to the street. I didn't cut it. You installed it. <laughs> sure hope I cut that pipe long enough to make it to the street. You'll make it. Now that one I did install and it's 
a little long, which you know, is hey, you know acceptable. what that that reminds me is I cut that one a little bit long, and this is what was left over off the roll. No. Yeah. There were two hundred foot rolls. Right there's the other one. That's solid. No. Yeah. Just I'm messing with you. you. There was only one. <laughs> <laughs> Told you. <laughs> All right, now we got that pipe in there. I think we're gonna go ahead and let's go ahead and backfill that up, uh, get some rock on it. And then we'll uh, stack these other, other couple courses here. Sounds good. Oh, I need to find that blower, don't I? Um, battery's dead, no battery at I got all. the blower. But there's no battery. I got battery the blower. <laughs> but the battery's, uh, well, I got the battery. <laughs> okay. Just I just forgot to bring- No electricity in the battery. I just forgot to bring the cars to get with it. So you just forgot to bring electricity with the battery powered blower. We'll go with that. Okay. I'll continue to shovel and sweep. I got you a new broom though. It'll work great. You said this, the name on the tag was the dozer? It is. The quickie dozer. The quickie dozer. Hmm. No, it's not as fast as I am, but it's close. All right, two courses on and backfield. We are still fighting the block that are not, I don't know what you call them. Right. Crooked? crooked. <laughs> Out of whack. It's not that they're not crooked, it's that they are. Yeah. Oh my goodness. And they're not consistently not crooked or crooked. No. They're, they're all consistently over the place. a mess. But uh, uh, what we decide we're going to do here, Matt, we're going to do two more six footers and then try to get a four footer up there on top. Sneak a four footer up around the top. You got it. And hopefully we'll be done reaching our, reaching our guts out. Yeah. much got it stacked as far as we can on the left side so we're going to go over here and stack out a little bit on the right side and then i will be able to move my way all the way out to the street we'll have all kinds of room to work from there i don't know what pin that is creaking in that boom i've greased this sign seven times it is still doing it. I will figure it out eventually. I don't look too bad. That block's just that far off, ain't it? You want to? It's even shy on the backside. You want to save that one for over here, or maybe one of those bottom ones where you ain't gonna see it? Yeah. I think we've set every one of the blocks in this wall four times.
Guys, we did probably get the uh, majority of the walls stacked. We'd have, uh, we're gonna do a little switcheroo on some blocks this morning. We got more six footers than we need, and we need to exchange them for some four footers and some two footers. I'll show you here in a second. But now that we're done messing around here with the excavator, I'm gonna try to get some of this uh, debris out of here and our dirt pad. See what kind of shape this poor pad's in underneath here. Get cleaned up, call today. See what tomorrow brings, I guess. One of these days, one of these days, we will get this job done and it's going to look nice. I tell you what, it needs cleaned up for pressure wash, but I think that pad's gonna survive. It looks pretty good as well. You know, you made that look really easy with the fish here. I would have lost the bet that we saved the pad. I didn't think we had a chance in HE double hockey sticks. Oh my gosh, did you really just go there? I think we're gonna do it though, bud. So, we got, uh, well, we got four, five, six footers left. We need a four footer, or no, we need a two footer there, and we need a four footer there and a two footer there. So we're gonna wrap it up for today. In the morning, we'll switch out, uh, switch out some blocks. We gotta get the rest of the backfill done, get the yard tied up a little bit, and uh, hopefully, we'll hit the road. All right, good news all around today, Mr. Millennial. Yeah. One, it's a beautiful day. It is a beautiful Sun's day. Sun's out. I mean, it's just absolutely gorgeous. Two, we're gonna get this job done today, whether we're here at midnight or noon or whatever it takes. Cause I'm hoping for the first 12. Yeah, yeah, the first 12. <laughs> I agree on the first 12. And uh, what else, what else? Oh, I believe we got the throttle issues fixed on the 120 this morning. Uh, did a little bit of work on it. All right, so we replaced the stepper motor right here, which controls the throttle linkage. That seems to have, uh, Seems to have taken care of this morning. Time will tell as it runs, but uh, we switched out our six foot blocks for two two footers and a four footer. We're gonna get the final few blocks set, get a few of the uh, plumbing pipes tied up, and I think get the yard back filled and cleaned up. Watch this. Oh, hold on. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 
anything now. All right, let's set the last few blocks. Still got a few little nitpicking things that want to get fixed in this 120. I got one, one hydraulic hose up there on the boom. I can't tell if it's the hose or the connection, but it's seeping. It's seeping just a little bit. Need to get it cleaned up real good, see what's going on there. And then uh, I figured out which I figured out which one of the joints is creaking a little bit, and it's the where the main boom pins go through the boom up there, and it's actually not greasable right there. So um, I talked to the guy, I talked to Todd, he said grease shouldn't work its way down in there over time and quit, so he's gonna keep an eye on it. So we're just gonna take her easy here for a little bit and see what we got. But for the most part, for the most part the machine's been doing really good. I can't complain. It's just it's just awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome being back in this thing. Love it. Really awesome when we get this job done. All right, four footer there. We got two two footers, one on the end of each wall. And bam, we are done. Setting block, finally. safe swinging those right over my truck. That's probably the best idea I've had. Two footers are so cute. He wants to adjust his shin. One more block to go. One last block. Come on, man. Got concrete in the hole up there. I can't get my hook through it. That's gonna help me out. There we go. Oh. There we go. We'll go this way and avoid the truck. Amazing part is, can you believe the mailbox is still there? You just had to say it, didn't you? Day's not over. <laughs> All right, this is the last block. We are on to plumbing detail. All right, guys, we are getting close. Matt's got most of the plumbing done. We actually got two pipes coming down through here. One of them is a perf pipe for the foundation drain on the wall. The other one is a solid pipe, which will actually be used for the downspout drain. Now they do tee together, and we just, he just went in one out on the street, but they are separate until a couple feet before the street. And on this side, we got three pipes. We got the floor train we determined for the garage, and then this pipe here, which those two there tie together. He's getting some towel tape on them, so. It is time to backfill this thing with rock. We're going to attempt to do it with the skid steer, but I got a feeling if this works, it's going to be tight. Let's find out. I'm not gonna overfill this bucket because I don't want to be shaking and losing it all the way up through there because I'll just have to clean it up.
tight squeeze in here, everybody, but it does fit just barely. Yep. Definitely got closer. Good foot and a half closer. And since you dumped that over there, it's all gonna run this way. It's gonna be perfect. I just said it, just for you. Look at that smile on that boy's face. <laughs> How much more you need there? Probably one more. One more. Yeah. Oh, make it easy on me. You're welcome. <laughs> all right third bucket of rock trying to get this corner all the way up we want it to be basically all the way to the top with rock on this side Hey, can you get any closer? Oh, no. <laughs> That's good. Well, no. no. Give me about half of that bucket. Then I'll let you know. Yeah, give it give it all, because we got a big pocket over here. That's going to work out pretty good. That's good right there. Right, guys here she is at the end it turned out magnificent we got everything cleaned up we don't have water here at this uh particular house so we just uh rimmed her off best we can to get the water fired up we may come back and pressure wash her off but uh check that out save the pad 
this is one little area we had to saw out here to get the footer out of there but the other than that i don't think it's any worse shape than what it was when we started so that's pretty impressive all the walls are shim straight looking good i think we stacked every block in this wall two or three times but uh it was worth the effort to make it right i sure feel a whole lot better about it going home and sleeping on it tonight so uh, they're going to come back like i said before if you guys watching our last videos their videos they're going to come back pour some caps on top of here and uh, do some do some goody stuff to uh, finish her up but uh that's it guys that's a wrap the most impressive part of this whole job is the omb the mailbox is still intact and the skunk smell is officially gone so the uh 120 is doing good the the dang electronic throttle issue crept back up on us again so we'll have to get that ironed out but it is nice to have her back on the job every time i sit in that seat i just smile so guys hope you enjoyed it don't forget to like subscribe and comment and as always we'll catch you on the next one